Hello friends, today I am going to discuss about how to install Orient DB in Windows operating system. The very first step, you need to download and install ZDK. So first install ZDK. Now here after this is the few steps. So in uh, Google search box, right at here Orient DB. So this is the official site of Orient TV and here you can get the description. So it's a NoSQL database management and here multi-mode database and here written Java language. And this all software that is recently released on 20 August 2019. So let's click this link. Now here after here you can find the database design for modern world. Let's click on download button. So after clicking download, so here you can get Orient TV Enterprise Edition. So let's click on download once again. Now here if you scroll down, so here you can select these tools. So add here the first is download Orient Community Edition. So here by using if you click then zip or top file going to download and here download enterprise and here copy so i'm going to select first option now here if you scroll down here this is available for windows linux mac NUS. so here i'm using windows 10 operating system so going to click this option orient tv for microsoft windows now here the file size 43 MB and here this is zip file. So this uh, software file that I already uh, downloaded so I am not going to download. Now here after so here after uh, download now here this is a file. So you need to extract right click here after click on extract. So at this location the file is going to extract. So here already extracted. Now let's open this. And here there is a few important point. So add here open the directory and here go to bin and here or click server batch file. And thereafter give suitable password for root user. Okay. So at this point you need to go bin directory. And here you can find somewhere server. So this is server and here this is the batch file. So if you double click, so and here welcome Orient DB. So command prompt of Orient DB come there. So it will all take only a few second times. So here this is the location where oh, server it's uh, starting. And here. So all this software that I already installed. So I'm not getting, I will not get any uh, root user. So if you try to install first time, so at this step, you should give the root user password. Okay. Now here, it's so server turned wrong. Now here after the next step is, so at here next to double click on the console batch file. So console batch file. So here you can find this one in bin and your console. So this is the Windows batch file. If you double click, now here it's automatically come there. Okay. Now here after the next, at this place you can write any kind of query. So if we I tap at here, here, press enter. So there's so many things. It's come there. Truncate class slave blah 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 alter alter database database begin notes commit and so many things it's come there so that means so add here of uh, orient db it's so successfully installed so if you do something on the browser and paste in the browser after that you can open a studio vector so let's copy and uh, open your favorite browser and paste the link. So right here, this is the redirecting of Orient DB Studio. In this place, you can create at your new 
db so and here if you take the cursor create new db now here let's uh, give the uh, and here name of database so and here test one two and here server so this is the steps and here so you need to give the root user and here give the password so root user it's given now here give the password and here after click on the create database so right here creating database test pointer so right here database test pointer it's created now at this place you can write any kind of queries and here if you go on the schema so here you can see this all schema user class and here this is system function and here this is the class and here this is the function and here this is the db details all those things so this is the way we can install audit tv in windows operating system so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video